Ben was walking down the street when suddenly a wire rope was placed around his neck, and he was robbed of a suitcase worth $100 million. He doesn't give chase as the wire rope keeps tightening. He pulled as hard as he could, but the motor spun so fast that eventually his fingers broke, and in less than a minute, his head fell off. The reason this man suffered such a tragic end was because he knew Jake. In America, there is no lawsuit that Jake can't win. If played well, even innocent people can go to jail. As a result, drug lords and gangsters all stumped up money for his help, and he made a lot of money. Not only did he live in a villa and drive a luxury car, he also courted a goddess and wore a diamond ring the size of a pigeon egg every day. But in this way, Jake still thinks that being a lawyer is too slow to make money, and it's better to just commit crimes. After all, the way to make money fast is to break the law. So, he immediately found an old client Monday, said he wanted to join together to do the Mexican drug business. This can be Monday happy bad. Have Jake's join, after the crime will be zero risk. So, he immediately led Jake to meet the middleman Peter. When they met, Peter immediately recommended a big deal to Jake. The deal had a profit of up to $100 million, and it would only take a week to make that much money. Jake was very happy to hear that, at this rate, they would soon surpass the richest man in the world. He didn't realize that this newly established small team had been targeted by Monday's girlfriend, Lisa. Because Lisa approached Monday for the purpose of seizing the goods, the Mexican drug lords stuffed the shipment into barrels and threw it into trucks filled with fecal water. It goes smoothly into a junkyard in the United States. They put a locator on the truck, then had a signal receiver sent to Peter. The three of them could then pick up the shipment through the receiver, but Lisa had already gotten a hit man to track down the man who delivered the locator. She pulls out a wire on the road, where he will pass and waits for the delivery man to hit it on his own accord. After getting the signal receiver, the hitman quickly located the drug car, but to his surprise, it didn't take long for the car to be intercepted by the FBI. Seeing that the FBI was in trouble, the killer had his men sneak out of the car. When the killer starts the car to attract attention, the henchman shoots. The surviving fake FBI ducked into the bushes and counterattacked. The two killers are quickly outgunned. Surprisingly, the fake FBI is actually Peter's henchman. After successfully grabbing the goods, Peter blames Monte and Jake for everything. The Mexican drug lord doesn't care that much, knowing that he can only go after the small gain after. The goods are robbed. The drug lord immediately sends his goons to kill them. The first man is Monday, trapped at an intersection. Monday drives off the highway but is chased and hit by the drug lord. He pulled out a pistol to escape and was shot. In the hip, the other man shoots again and Monday is killed. When he learns that Monday has been killed, Jake realizes that the situation is serious and runs away with his girlfriend. However, instead of killing Jake, the drug lord kills his girlfriend and throws her into the garbage. Meanwhile, Peter already has the sole money abroad. He didn't expect to end up losing at the hands of a woman, because the beautiful woman was Lisa's man. Lisa steals Peter's information and sends a hitman to strangle him in the street. Then, she took his computer and managed to transfer it to $100 million. In the end, Lisa became the winner.